Hey yo, what up guys? My name's Bob C. Hamilton. I'm a PhD degree DVM MD specialized in babies. Now a lot of people come into my office claiming they have the world's cutest baby, but they want to get a professional's opinion. And that's where I come in. You see, I have a trained eye for top quality babies. It's simple. I just hold onto the child and I tell the parents straight up if the baby has any value or not. I have some babies in the office today that I need to appraise, so follow me and I'll do a little demonstration. Alright, what do we got on the chopping block today? Oh, we got a crier. Gonna have to knock him down a few points right from the start. You know, a lot of babies come in here and make that mistake. It's pretty common. Okay, we got these arms here. A little chubby, but solid rotation. Let's just tuck those away for now. His spine's a little... Eh, but, uh, but you know what? He's got a good weight to him. Okay, let's see... I could easily see... Oh, wait a minute. What's this? See that? He's got a bum leg. That's not good. Well, you know, at least he has another one. Time for the twerk test. Yep, just as I thought. The right leg's moving a whole lot more than the bum leg. And now I like to check the baby's center of gravity by applying a little uh, centripetal force and seeing how he reacts. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> He's a six. See? That's it. He's gonna cry. Okay, who's next? Come here, you little son of a bitch. Okay, alright, let's see what we're working with here now. Uh-oh, see that? See how he's flopping over like that? That's not good. And this arm here is slightly underdeveloped. Okay, now there's something about this baby's weight and posture. I feel like, I feel like he has a big head unproportioned to his body. He's just like his father over here. <laughs> yeah, upon further inspection, he does have a rather large head, and he's nearly weightless in his lower body, which is probably the worst thing I've seen in a while, because I am a doctor, and uh, babies have, you know, most of their vital organs and guts back here, right where I'm gripping my hand. Yeah, and if he's weightless down there, that's not a good sign. And uh, a lot of babies with the uh, ginormo head problem usually develop a weight distribution error, and they'll end up falling backwards often, but they'll just grow up to be like a janitor or something like that. Huh, that's funny. This baby doesn't look Chinese. I'll be generous, and I'll give this baby a three, maybe even a four. Oh no, what's this? You guys see that? Can we get the camera to zoom in? Yup. We got a crusty face over here. It's a shame. You know, I was so close to rating this baby a four, but I think he's a three. Well, there you have it. What can I say? I'm the best at what I do. Hmm, this baby's skin tone's kind of patchy. It's really red. Now I'd like to go over some things that I look for in a perfect 10. A nicely shaped circular head is ideal. It should also be soft and a little squishy. Turning the baby over and checking for any signs of a tail is really important. You wouldn't believe how many babies are actually born with them these days. As I said before, doing the twerk test is great. It really helps you feel out the baby's weight distribution, and with a slight wiggle, you can test out the baby's ab strength and rhythm. You know, this guy's a little bit too chubby over here. His pants barely fit him. The hairline's kind of off. Huh. This one's not very youthful looking. He kind of looks like a little old man. So those are the qualities I'm looking for. The first rule of baby appraising is you gotta be honest with yourself. And second of all, you're gonna have to get used to breaking some hearts. Duh. But that's just a part of the business and someone's gotta do it. I also offer a free plastic surgery consultation for babies after the appraisal process. You'd be surprised how much a nose job or a little liposuction can boost up a baby's score. So, uh, come on down today and get your baby appraised. We'll find out just how cute it is, and I'll see what I can do for you.